hi and hello everyone in this video we will do direct and inverse proportion chapter number 13 exercise 13.1 direct proportion direct proportion means when there is ratio is same it means that varies directly or you can say direct in proportion so in the question first if x varies directly as y then fill in the blanks so here x and y values have given now x value 20 and y value 30 and then later on next to x value is 4 and y value you don't know it means you need to find out here x varies directly as y it means ratio of x1 upon y1 equals to x2 upon y2 this is the ratio of these four terms x1 upon y1 equal to x2 upon y2 if it remains same constant it means it varies directly or you can say it is in direct proportion so let's start it do it x1 upon y1 20 is x1 30 is y1 and x2 upon y2 x2 is 4 and y2 we don't know here so we need to find out y2 value now cross multiply this y2 equal to 4 into 30 upon 20 that is equals to 6 so value of y2 is here 6 now in the next in second x up and y x1 is 3 y1 is 18 x2 we don't know and y2 54 if it varies directly it means x1 upon y1 equal to x2 upon y2 so 3 upon 18 equals to x2 upon 54 x2 is the missing term which we want to know so here x2 value is equals to 3 into 54 upon 18 that is equals to 9 now in the next part of this question third part here also it varies x varies directly as y it means it is in direct proportion so x1 upon y1 equal to x2 upon y2 now in this third question x1 upon y1 13 upon 52 then x2 upon y2 x2 value is missing so we need to find out x2 upon y2 that is equals to 208 so after cross multiplying we find that x2 equals to 13 into 208 upon 52 equals to 52 because 208 cutted by 52 4 times then 13 multiplied by 4 that is equal to 52 now in the fourth part here x1 given 4 and y1 given 28 and x2 given 9 and y2 is not given so we need to find out y2 so 4 upon 28 equal to 9 upon y2 so y2 equal to 9 into 28 upon 4 that is equal to 63 now move on to next question question number 2 if Rama types 75 words in 15 seconds how many words will she type in 90 seconds it means Rama types 75 words in 15 minutes then you need to find out how many words she can type in 90 seconds it means if she is typing more word it means she will take more time or you can say if she will type in more time then she will type more words so it means this is also in direct proportion it varies also directly so now more words will take more time so it is in direct variation so again here x1 upon y1 equal to x2 upon y2 it means here also ratio remain same ratio of x1 upon y1 and ratio of x2 upon y2 is same this is called indirect variation or you can say indirect proportion so words and then time in seconds if she types 75 words that take time 15 seconds and uh, you need to find out here value of words which she types in 90 seconds it mean again here 75 upon 15 it mean x1 upon y1 equal to x2 upon 90 x2 here missing them it mean you want to know how many words she can type in 90 seconds so we can 
क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई हेयर वी विल डू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई हेयर सो x2 टू इक्वल्स टू सेवेंटी फाइव इंटू नाइन्टी अपॉन फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वर्ड्स सो देर फोर रमा विल टाइप फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वर्ड्स इन नाइन्टी सेकेंड्स नाम वन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड नाम इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड द कॉस्ट ऑफ फाइव मीटर्स ऑफ ए क्लोथ इज रुपी टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन वॉट विल बी द कॉस्ट ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव मीटर्स ऑफ क्लोथ ऑफ द सेम टाइप जनरली वैन यू गो टू मार्केट यू बाय सम क्लोथ्स और समथिंग एल्स लाइक योर रिबन और लेस वट एवर नाउ देन यू आस्क टू शॉपकीपर वॉट इज द रेट ऑफ इट एंड इफ यू बाय वन मीटर दैन यू कैन से दैट इज सपोज कॉस्ट ऑफ रुपी टेन then if you buy 5 meter he multiply 5 by 10 equals to 50 it mean when you when you will buy more cloth or more ribbon or lace etc then you will pay more money so here also also it is in direct proportion more length of cloth will occur more cost so it is in direct variation so again here x1 upon y1 equal to x2 upon y2 ratio remain same so x1 is 5 and y1 is 215 upon 215 equal to 75 upon y2 y2 is here cost of 75 meter cloth so value of y2 is here 3225 by cross multiplying 75 into 215 upon 5 or cross multiply it mean you are multiplying left hand sides numerator value by right hand sides denominator value and that would be equals to left hand sides denominator value you are multiplying by right hand sides numerator value so it mean cost of 75 meters of cloth is rupee 3225 now in the next question question number 4 in the question number 4 a train is moving at a uniform speed of 75 km per hour how far will it travel in 25 minutes it means train is moving at uniform uniform means it is a constant speed this speed doesn't change it means uh, sometimes suppose you are saying 75 and sometimes you say 10 km or sometimes it is 40 km it means every time it varies but it doesn't vary it means it is a constant or you can say uniform speed of 75 km per hour so in the first part you need to find out how far will it travel in 25 minutes now see train at uniform speed will take more time to cover more distance it means as you will increase the speed you will cover more distance so it is in direct proportion so speed of train is 75 km per hour and time 25 minutes now see speed unit is 75 km per kilometer per hour it means you are calculating that speed per hour but here time is 25 minutes it means you need to convert this 25 minutes into hour or unit one hour equal to 60 minutes so you will divide 25 by 60 so we find 5 upon 12 hour so now speed of train speed this is a velocity speed that is equals to distance upon time it means how much distance is traveled by any object or train or bike or whatever divided by the time it means in how much time we are moving from one place to another place so distance upon time then you will find out the speed of train like in your bikes there is speedometer uh, it means if your needle of that speedometer is at 30 it means you are traveling at the speed of 30 km per hour. Suppose you are at the 40 or 50, it means you are uh, traveling at more speed. Generally, there is limitation of around 40 km per hour because beyond that speed, that is risk of yourself. That may occur something, incidents like accidents, etc. So, control speed just below the 40 km per hour at bikes or whatever so now distance that is equal to speed into time because here we will find out distance how much distance 
ट्रेन विल ट्रेवल इन ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स सो डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू स्पीड इन टू टाइम स्पीड हेयर सेवेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड टाइम इज फाइव अपॉन ट्वेल्व आवर सो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन फोर इक्वल्स टू थर्टी वन पॉइंट टू फाइव किलोमीटर इट मीन ट्रेन विल कवर थर्टी वन पॉइंट टू फाइव किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस इन ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स नाउ इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वी विल फाइंड आउट इन सेकेंड पार्ट How much time it will take to cover distance distance of five hundred kilometer? It means here you want to know time. How much time will that train will take? So speed of train seventy five kilometer per hour and distance covered by the train is five hundred kilometer. So speed as we know formula is distance upon time. So here we need to find out time. So time cross multiply this. is equals to distance upon time sorry speed it mean time is distance upon speed so distance is given and speed also given so you can find out time easily so distance is 500 km and speed 75 km per hour so that is equal to 20 upon 3 equals to 6 whole and 2 by 3 hours so train will cover this distance 500 km in Six hour and six and two by three hours. You can convert in minute also. Like if you want to convert this into minutes, then here you need to multiply by sixty. But if you are converting minute into hours, then you need to divide by sixty. So train will take six whole and two by three hours to cover a distance of five hundred kilometer. Now move on to next question. Question number five. In question number five, cost of twenty-five pens of some kind is rupee two hundred twenty-five. How many such pens can be bought for rupee eight hundred ten? Pen, more pens, more cost. Suppose one pen of rupee five. It means if you buy more pens, like ten pens, then you will pay more money to shopkeeper. So it is also in direct proportion, or you can say it is in direct variation. More pens will be in more money. So here number of pens and then cost in rupee. Number of pens twenty five and cost is two hundred twenty five of that pens. And another number of pens. How many pens you can buy? You can bought for rupee eight hundred ten. So it is x one upon y one equals to x two upon y two. So equal. Um, X one is twenty five and Y one is two hundred twenty five equals to X two upon eight hundred ten. So after that cross multiply this, we will find out value of X two equals to ninety. It means number of pens are ninety. So you can buy, you can bought ninety pens can be bought in rupee eight hundred ten. Now move on to next question, question number six. Suppose five kilogram sugar costs rupee four hundred fifty. Find the cost of forty five kilogram of sugar. In market, you buy a sugar generally around a forty or fifty rupee. Like suppose you buy one kilogram sugar of fifty rupee. Then, if you want to buy more sugar, it means you need to pay more money. So here also it is in direct variation, direct proportion. More sugar, more cost. So it is in direct variation. So In direct proportion, x one upon y one equal to x two upon y two. Ratio will remain same. So here, five upon four hundred fifty equal to forty five upon y two. Y two is here cost of sugar, which you will pay for forty five kilogram of sugar. So y two equals to after cross multiplication forty five into four hundred fifty upon five. Four thousand fifty. So it means cost of forty-five kilogram sugar is rupee four thousand fifty. Now in the next question, question number seven. Cost of one dozen banana is rupee forty-two. What will be the cost of three and half dozen of banana? One dozen banana. One dozen means twelve. One dozen equals to twelve. Now here. 
मोर बनाना मोर कॉस्ट इट मीन इफ यू विल बाय मोर बनाना देन यू विल पे मोर मनी सो अगेन इट इज इन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन और यू कैन से डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन ना वन डजन इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व एंड थ्री एंड हाफ डजन इट मीन थ्री एंड हाफ इंटू ट्वेल्व थ्री एंड हाफ कन्वर्ट इन टू इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन दिस इज द मिक्स फ्रैक्शन थ्री एंड वन अपॉइंट टू थ्री इन टू टू सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन अपॉइंट टू दैट इज इन इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ट्वेल्व इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी टू इट मीन हेयर यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट कॉस्ट ऑफ फोर्टी टू बनाना सो इट इज ऑल्सो इन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन इट मीन एक्स वन अपॉन वाई वन इक्वल टू एक्स टू अपॉन वाई टू सो हेयर ट्वेल्व अपॉन फोर्टी टू इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू अपॉन वाई टू सो वाई टू वैल्यू इज फोर्टी टू इंटू फोर्टी टू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व इक्वल्स टू वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी सेवन सो कॉस्ट ऑफ थ्री एंड हाफ डजन ऑफ बनाना इज रूपी वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी सेवन Now in the next question, question number eight. If the thickness of a pile of twelve cardboards is thirty-five mm, find the thickness of pile of two hundred ninety-four cardboards. Pile mean bunch. When you put one over another, then that is there is a bunch. Now that is a pile. So more pile. It means if we will make more bunches, then thickness will increase. so it is also in direct variation direct proportion so it is also x1 upon y1 equal to x2 upon y2 so number of cards 12 upon 35 equals to 294 upon y2 thickness in millimeter millimeter that is equals to 1 cm equal to 10 mm so here y2 we need to find out cross multiply Thirty-five into two hundred ninety-four upon twelve equal to eight hundred fifty-seven point five zero millimeter mm. Now, if you want to convert in centimeter, that also you can do. So, thickness of pile of two ninety-four cardboards is eight hundred fifty-seven point five zero millimeter. In centimeter, if you want to convert, then divide by ten. So that would be eighty-five point seven five centimeter. So thank you, everyone, for watching this.